The Jay Bird Show. Just laugh it off. What's up, Jay Bird Nation? I'm Jay. Hey, and I'm Jay. And this is The Jay Bird Show. How you doing today, man? Dude, I'm doing fantastic. I am pumped up tonight. Are you? Let's go. Why, you, I, you got a big tax refund coming? <laughs> hell no. Gosh, I got beaten down, I think. Yeah. But no, I hate tax season, but you know, I had a, what, monster energy drink and then some vodka. I'm oh, good. there you go. Yeah. I don't pay taxes. I have my wife do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the IRS was like, <laughs> like if FBI has joined the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jaybirds, we got an awesome show for you tonight. Let's talk about what happens after. That's our first topic. Yep. And then we're going to talk about the first phrase that comes to mind. All right. These were fan favorites. You guys asked us to have these on the show again. So let's let's start with our first topic. All right. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. What happens after you find somebody living in your attic? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What happens after I find somebody living in the attic? I'll probably tell them to scoot over. <laughs> Let me come up there with you. Why? Because have you seen the prices of like, you know, electric and water and mortgage? Things are getting expensive. They I, are. So you think you can just live up there for free? Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> like, just let me come up there with you, bro. Like scoot over roof rats. I'm going <laughs> to hang out with you guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, oh, wow. You got an etching sketch up here. You're doing pretty good, man. I don't know. I think if I was in that situation, I'd be like, Yo, do you know how to do roofing? <laughs> I've got a I got a leak right above where you're sitting. And right? I would really appreciate it if you plug that puppy up. Yeah, Go would ahead. you mind spraying some foam while you're up here? Insulate right. for me. Right. I'm like, I thought I smelled marijuana up here <laughs> in my attic. Could you blow it through the vents a little bit more? Yeah, like, hey, are you the, the guy that was down by the intersection <laughs> earlier today? Technically, I guess you're not homeless, are you, if you're in my attic? No, it's your roommate, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right, it is. What's up, roomie? Uh, okay, so what happens after you catch your kids eating dog food out of a dog's dish? <laughs> okay. What would you do then? Well, if I catch my kids eating dog food out of the dog food dish, I probably would cancel my Uber Eats order. <laughs> like, I mean, they're probably full. There's like... Ham, potatoes, <laughs> turkey, hogs, you name it. <laughs> all mixed into one? Yeah, it's all there. It's, it's all like the a, nutrients. It's like a breakfast burrito for dogs, basically, <laughs> in little nugget forms. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so I thought if they eat dog food, I don't think as a parent I need to provide dinner. <laughs> I don't know. I think the CPS might disagree with that assumption, but I might take a little different approach. I'd be like, yo, um, let me just make sure that you're free of <laughs> Fleas and ticks. I'm gonna squirt a little of the spray on you before you go in your crib, before you sleep in my bed. De louse them. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, remember the I don't remember one of the last episodes that we did a little while back, we were talking about dog food uh like tasters. Remember that? I do, yeah. Yeah. So actually humans taste the dog food. Yeah, but that's the like the So your kids can do it. If humans can eat the dog food, that's fine. If they Plus, I didn't tell them to go eat the dog food. You asked me what happens if I found my kids or I learned that they had sure. have eaten it. I didn't like serve it up for them with a bib and say, like, here's Alpo for dinner. You said, if I catch my kids eating dog food, what would I do? What happens after that? Cancel the Uber Eats order. You guys already had dinner. You should be full. But I wasn't talking about like the bougie dog food that you buy in the refrigerated section at PetSmart or have have delivered to your house there's people that love their pets that much i don't know have it's you seen... like no seriously it's like it's it's people grade food yeah have you seen those commercials where it's like your pet deserves like fresh yeah. meals delivered to your house and it makes you feel guilty like <laughs> oh man i'm not doing that <laughs> right <laughs> like for an easy payment plan of 89.99 <laughs> per day What's next? I got to feed the bass in my fish tank. Right. Like goldfish instead of like fish food. Like what do you, where, I does, can't, where does that stop? Yeah. What else? I'm going to have to give my snake. <laughs> I can't give them rats. All uh, right. What's the next food. one? Uh, what happens after you see your boss at the movie theater um, holding hands with somebody that's not their spouse? Scandalous. <laughs> what happens after I see the boss at the movie theater holding hands with someone that's 
Definitely not their spouse. Not the boss, the singer, but your boss. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ask for a raise. That's a, like a, the opportune time. Mm-hmm. Be like, hey, uh, sorry to sorry to bother you and, and miss I didn't catch your name. Like, <laughs> what was that? And definitely write that down. Okay, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I know that we first were kind of wrestling with that 3% idea for my raise. But if we could, I was just thinking maybe 25%. Maybe we could talk about that after you know after the movie or you know no you guys enjoy your date like let's just talk about it when we get back to the office and can we can we negotiate the pto i really need five weeks instead of two by the way my tickets cost what does a movie ticket cost these days 15 oh, bucks i don't know man i'm lazy i just watch them at home well true like you yeah could... i want that membership to amc could you include that too Free popcorn, right. drinks, right? Just fleece them. <laughs> Just fleece them. I got to shout out to YouTube since this is, you know, this is the YouTube uh, podcast that our Jaybirds and the Jaybird Nation are watching. I have the you, I got rid of cable and I have just have the YouTube TV. It's awesome. You can actually get on demand movies that are still in the theater. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. No, seriously, what is it like? 15, 20, 20 bucks to rent a movie? It is. I just watched you, that. You can uh, even buy them too. John uh, Jacob uh, Oppenheimer Smith or whatever. <laughs> That movie was John Wick. <laughs> no, Oppen Oppenhammer. Oh, Oppenheimer! <laughs> you like con- conflated three or four different movies into one. It's Armenheimer. <laughs> it's Wormerheimer. Oh, I watched yeah. most of it. Like I fell asleep. It's like a almost a three hour movie. It is, but that's what you should have watched in the theater. I really, did. it's fantastic. Okay, yeah, I got through most of it. I'm saving some of it. <laughs> okay like like leftovers in the fridge so anyways if i see my boss at the movie theaters holding hands with someone that's not his spouse i'm gonna try to leverage that for some more fringe benefits all right uh what if you accidentally accidentally pull the fire alarm in the broadway musical your wife insisted you go to oh that i could see myself accidentally pulling the fire alarm <laughs> at the <laughs> obligatory <laughs> musical that I was volunteer told to go to. You so, love those though. No, I don't. So what would happen after that? Yeah. What would happen? I would probably say, sorry, babe, it's such a bummer that somebody came out of nowhere and pulled the fire alarm, but, and that, that, that they evacuated us and the show's over, but you know what? There's still probably time for us to golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it, if I were to say that it would, the us part would be, your buddies by by us i mean me and my friends <laughs> right it's a it's about th- two o'clock sun goes down at 6 30 mm-hmm. get enough time for a foursome yeah <laughs> <laughs> not like that okay but I'm we're gonna, gonna go golfing that one. <laughs> yeah well there's time for a foursome after the sun goes down too <laughs> but you're not going to be getting yeah, that that's on a knife night golf course though we're not going to be getting limited. that foursome if you pull the fire alarm and you you leave the musical no there's not that many golf courses that are open that late. So. Okay. Well, I think anything. You go to the bar and have a few drinks. I think what would happen after I pull the fire I mean, someone pulled the fire alarm. Someone. <laughs> I would apologize to my wife, and then we would uh, celebrate the fact that we have the rest of our day and go do something else. That's a great thing. Besides the Broadway musical. What would happen after you tell her that you love her or like that I love you for the first time? And she says, thanks. That's cool. Instead of I love you back. So this is a new topic um well yeah the, i mean this is a, not a new topic but this is like what would happen after you said to somebody else that you love them okay and so it's thanks. like maybe like a first date first time ever you're saying i love you and their response is like that's cool yeah pretty much <laughs> okay. i mean it could be a first date it, i don't think but it's just the know, first time i don't think it'd be a first date but first time first time yeah okay well i think it's like usually some special time that you would say like hey i love you and if she says like that's cool i'd be like check please (laughs) all right we're gonna split this like she had the lobster i had the tacos in the water like i thought that you love me like you didn't let me finish (laughs) i love you for who you are which is an asshole (laughs) by the way you have caviar in your teeth (laughs) exactly so that that's actually rough shout out to any of you out there that are going through a hard time because you said that you love somebody and they didn't say it back. They'll come around, just yeah. untie them. And <laughs> right. You're like, no offense. Don't take this the wrong way with all due disrespect. 
but you're just being a jerk tonight, so can you pay for my meal, please? Yeah, with all <laughs> due disrespect. <laughs> yeah. What would you do after you accidentally drop your cell phone in the toilet? Oh, I've done that before. Actually, let's add on to that. Not just a toilet, but a, a porta potty. God, what would you just do throw then? a grenade, blow the whole thing up. <laughs> I actually dropped my cell phone at home. Like, you know, the little blue water that mm-hmm. like you put the little thing in the back yeah, and it like makes the water blue. And I'm like, well, it's not too bad because That's it's a- like, it was before I went to the bathroom. So it was like just in the blue water. I'm like, dang it. I'm like, how am I supposed to Google like what to do? So I went to my computer and I was like, what do you do if you, you know, get your phone wet? And they said that like, you have to just like put rice with it. Yeah. So I went, I had, luckily I had some Panda Express in the fridge. Oh, that's good. And I just took the whole thing of rice, threw it in the toilet with the phone. It didn't help at all. They it just made it worse. <laughs> it was all mushy inside there. So I don't really get the whole rice thing. Yeah. I, I think the whole rice thing is, first of all, you put it, put the rice in a bag, not in the toilet. Oh, you don't put it in the toilet? No. You put it, the rice in a bag, put your electronics in the bag, and then let the water get absorbed by the rice. However... Is that to be fried rice? It could be fried rice. <laughs> fried rice. But no. What you did was a dumbass thing. You put cooked rice in the toilet like a dumbass. <laughs> it's not going to work. You can't just take your leftover Panda Express and expect, expect your phone to work the next day. Okay. You know, Plus it'll clog your toilet. You learn something new every day. Yeah. So that's what would happen if I accidentally dropped my cell phone in the toilet. Okay. I would... Get some uh, barbecue tongs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a sock. And a welder's mitt. <laughs> and a welder's mitt, the catcher's mitt, and, and fish it out. That's a better answer. Mm-hmm. That's a better answer. Than so now I'm going to use my wife's cell phone when I go to the bathroom, just in case I drop it. <laughs> it won't be mine. Um, what would happen after you forgot your wallet on a first date? Ooh, that'd be pretty embarrassing. Um, I think I'd probably just cause a scene okay i just like yell as loud as i i can i'd be like what you don't want to serve me because i'm gay you don't want to serve gay people in this restaurant and then like have everybody like oh boo boo <laughs> like you don't know, come on we're out of here <laughs> and then you you said it's the first date and then you get outside and, and she's like i didn't know that you were gay i'm it's, it's cool but like i thought like we were on a date with each other like, oh, we are. Like, I just forgot my wallet. <laughs> I don't know. I think if you're going to do all that and raise commotion, <laughs> I think you got to stick with the fact that you're gay and then be like, yeah, I'm sorry. I should have told you. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, though. We'll oh, see you next. Maybe we'll see you around. So you just, you have to like, just. Like, you have to eat crow. You have to tuck your tail between your legs and go home. So one, you can never like. You can't ever see You can never see that again. person again and you can never go to that restaurant again. No, both. So, so that's another, that brings up another great point. First dates don't go somewhere that you're going to go back to, like pick some place like 40 minutes from your house <laughs> that you don't ever want to go back to in case you forget your wallet, in case you accidentally tell them you're gay. Yeah. Well, you can't go into <laughs> cheers. Like, Hey, Norm. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. They put an IOU on you. Yeah. They're like, what do you, how come everybody knows you like around here? Like, well, this is my office. <laughs> I was wondering why it didn't look like a restaurant <laughs> while we were eating in cubicles. <laughs> I thought it was romantic at first. I did. That's funny. What would you do after you found out that they, or how they actually make hot dogs? What would you do then? Not a damn thing. <laughs> I don't care if they put like buzzard buttholes and, and <laughs> like llama kidneys. Like, <laughs> I don't care, dude. I love hot dogs. I don't care what what's in them. Like ostrich necks. I don't care. But it's got to be the right hot dogs. Can we agree on that? It can't be like the cheap ass bar ass bar ass <laughs> bar ass. They hot should dogs. be called bear ass. <laughs> bear ass hot dogs. Bar ass hot dogs. I've I've got one of those before. Recently. I thought you said Juarez, like like, <laughs> like from Mexico. <laughs> I've never had one of those, so maybe they're good. Mm-hmm. But no, the cheap bar ass hot dogs. Nah. Yeah, it's like the mixed. It's got to be all beef. Oh yeah, you have to have all beef. It's got to be a good hot dog. I'm all in. It's got to be Nathan's or Hebrew International or like something. Those grocery store ones. Yeah, it's got to be an expensive hot. Dog. What's your favorite hot dog, Jay Birds in the Jay Bird Nation? Why don't you drop it in the comment section? Like, what's the best hot dog? And I mean, this could we're talking grocery store hot dogs or hot dogs that people can go purchase. I'm sure your cousin Vinny has like an awesome 
you know, natural casing Frank that can only be getting, you know, you can only get it on like third street, but we're talking about like where we all can go find them. So yeah. What I, what would I do if I found out what they put in hot dogs, eat three more of them. <laughs> I don't care. You're not going to gross me out. I, I could lick an ashtray. I don't care. <laughs> okay. I didn't ask you that question, but no, right. I'm just saying like, you can't gross me out. I don't care. All right. Well, what if you found out that your best friend is going to be dating your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend? What would you do then? I don't or have an ex-boyfriend, ex <laughs> so it would have to be an ex-girlfriend. Okay. And if I found out that my best friend, which is you, <laughs> is dating my ex. Um, I know this is all like hypothetical. So if I was in a situation where I was in a relationship and then I found Just out. Just your mate. Your whatever. mate. And then and then your, your friend uh, is now dates your mate. Yep. Then I would say I would thank them and my bank account would thank them because <laughs> if I'm dating, I'm probably spending a lot of money because I'm not a cheapskate when I'm dating. Right. So I probably send a heartfelt thank you from me and Chase <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or Wells Fargo, whoever you bank with. All right. So now we know who you bank with. <laughs> right. Okay, what are you going to do with that information? Hackers Unite. Well, we know his name is Jay and we know that he banks at chase so that narrowed the suspects down to four hundred thousand. <laughs> uh what would you do next if you saw a porch pirate take packages off your porch on your door on your ring doorbell camera you know we all have one of those pretty oh much yeah nowadays, right? everyone's got a ring doorbell yeah. if i saw a porch pirate taking packages off the, the porch. porch i'd probably chase them down and say like hey jerk i said Take one piece of candy, not the whole bowl. <laughs> you jerk. You're on your honor system. I put a sign right there. It said trick or treat. Take one. What if he was literally wearing a pirate cast a costume? That's what it is. It was a porch pirate. I thought. That's, yeah. He's got a he's got an eye patch on. Arr. You know what? I you think can't take this away from I me. think this Halloween, I'm just gonna wait until there's a pirate <laughs> <laughs> that comes to my door and just yell at him through the the ring doorbell and be like, Hey, no porch pirates. <laughs> Actually, what would be a good idea is like to take up a sniper position. And then, Whoa, that's, this is, this is no dark. No, with a super soaker, you know, the old squirt guns. Yeah. You catch them in the act. That'd be awesome. Yeah. But you can't put Clorox in it. <laughs> I didn't say Clorox. like you did when you were a kid, when you, Water. when you shot like dogs with Clorox, I so never did turned that. them into Dalmatians. <laughs> I never did that. That was, that's messed up. No, I'm just kidding. You would never do that. But what would you do after you got a bad haircut? Um, probably still show up to my wedding anyways. <laughs> still put on the toupee. <laughs> or, if, or if it's her, like, babe, listen, it looks fine. It's fine. Nobody, nobody cares if it's orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel attacked. It, does, it doesn't stand out that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like the bridesmaids go, whoa, <laughs> like as soon as they see you're like, damn. They're like, hey, it's nice to meet you. Oh, shoot. It's you. It's Diana. It's the bride. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that was a funny topic. That was a good one. I like that one. All right. We're going to go into the next one. We're going to talk about the first phrase that would come to mind um, after you hear the following words. Okay. Like a little phrase. What comes to mind? The phrase that pays. Hit, hit me with it. All right. What if... Um, you thought of or saw a hot air balloon. First thing that comes to mind, mm -hmm. the cast of the view. <laughs> and why is that? Because they're soaring to new heights. <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, they're always talking about taking a 10,000 foot view of things. Yeah. In fact, today they were and they're full about... of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> that they are. Weren't they talking about OJ today? Oh, I didn't, you know, I work, so I didn't stay home and watch them. <laughs> Neither did I, but I saw the headlines. Oh, were they? Yeah, they were talking What's about his name? Like Ortholomew or something like that? <laughs> what is it? Orthanol? Is it's like it's, it's it stands for something. Yeah. It's not Orange Julius. <laughs> it's, it's, no, uh, it's like I think it's like Orville Redenbacher <laughs> <laughs> Julius, I think. If you know what OJ's name stands for, drop it in the comments. Uh um, is it's O B J, right? No, that's no. Odell Beckham Jr. Jr. Yeah, that's not we're getting warmer. Yeah. It's it's like Ortholomew or something. It like is. That. It is. It's like or, or th ophthalmologist. <laughs> That's what it is. I think it Junior. is. I it know. is. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. But wow, I can't believe he's he's uh, passed on. 
crazy. Yeah, I mean, mixed emotions. I mean, yeah. I, I know he was found not guilty, but there's still a lot of people that believe that he was guilty. So it's like, you don't wish death on anybody, but I'm I'm sure if you talk to the, what Ron the Goldmans or whatever, they're they're probably not that sad. <clears throat> probably not, but but OJ's family's sad because no, it's still way, notable though. Like, yeah, jeez, the guy's been in the in the news for the past what thirty years. Yeah, so. And even beat some people up or something for taking his signed. Yeah. For his baseball cards or something. Yeah. yeah. yeah something stupid. All, All right. right. Well, well, the juice is finally loose. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's flowing in heaven. Maybe. Um, <laughs> that's not for me to judge. No. Um, what would you think if you heard the phrase ice cream truck? Drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. I could see that correlation. I don't. I mean. When you're a kid, I don't think you suspect, unless you're ordering drugs, but like I didn't order any drugs. You just want to know how they can turn a profit. How did you get your drugs? Yeah, I didn't get drugs, (laughs) but I want to know like modern day with gas being like five bucks a gallon, Mm -hmm. how they can sustain a business charging a dollar for a popsicle that that costs 85 cents. It's like there's no way this is a losing proposition. (laughs) So I'm sure that if you ask for things that are not on the, the menu like here can i get one of those uh flintstone push-up pops a pac-man choco taco and how much fentanyl do you have left <laughs> i don't know it's worth a shot Let's see what happens yeah remember this is a comedy show we don't use fentanyl we don't no condone it being purchased anywhere besides a ice authorized ice cream truck <laughs> <laughs> or your local physician. That's it. <laughs> right. Uh, what about fairy? What about those? That word, I should say. Dose. Dose words? Finish what you're saying. What about? Can't get canceled. <laughs> fairy godmother. That's fairy the only godmother. kind of fairy there is. Fairy sure. godmother. Yep. Plus, I have girls, and they always talk about the fairy godmother. Well, my daughter wanted fairy power when she was little, like wings and all sorts of stuff. I don't like, have a problem with any magical. fairy. The only fairy I have a problem with is the tooth fairy. <laughs> it's like it's like it used to be like a buck but now it's like 20 bucks that the tooth fairy's giving kids and it's like that's getting too expensive there tooth fairy it is i feel bad for the tooth fairy but inflation <laughs> that's right you know what um uh, and we're not going to ruin any surprises in case uh <clears throat> any kids stumble upon our channel but my uh youngest actually on last year's christmas list um she asked for no inflation <laughs> <laughs> no way yes are you serious yeah it was like whatever, like doll, this, that, and then no inflation. How much Fox like, News mom, are you having to watch? I, I'm about to say, your mom needs to turn on, stop watching Fox News over Jeez. here. Watch some independent footage or something. But I mean, yeah. she's right. I'm not saying she's wrong. Oh, yeah, no. But... It's, by wife, I mean me. Like, I'm right. tired of the inflation. <laughs> so fairy godmother is, or tooth fairy is what comes to mind. Okay. Um, what about bowling, Ollie? Uh, meth and nachos. <laughs> used to be for me it used to be cigarettes and grease <laughs> i don't know i thought you didn't like broadway musicals <laughs> <laughs> but the, oh not the play grease <laughs> and cigarettes <laughs> you forgot that part you probably used to be able to smoke and like the broadway musicals probably you used to be able to smoke on a plane and everywhere you definitely probably can still smoke in a bowling alley you probably could do meth in a bowling alley i don't <laughs> think there's any rules maybe it's gross you, you just get those shoes on and like they don't always require socks they just like spray it with that aquanet or whatever <laughs> aquanet. i think socks are optional but not for me <clears throat> all right you got any for me what about uh cupcake factory what comes mm-hmm. to mind i'm th- kind of thinking about the younger generation <laughs> <laughs> some of them are kind of soft they don't like conflict they don't uh I don't know, a lot of entitlement. Not to say that y'all are all like that, but come on. You got to you gotta get roughed up a little bit, get rough around the edges. It makes you a better person. So then the Cupcake Factory would be the public schools? Pretty much. <laughs> They're the ones like softening yeah. up the kids. Yeah. Teachers don't spank kids anymore like they used to. No, but I mean, even at home, right? That's true. You're not, you're not raising a tough kid anymore. So America or the world is the cupcake factory where it's just producing a bunch of... I don't think so, yeah. I don't think it's just America, unless it's like a different culture that I'm not aware of. Global cupcake factory. <laughs> producing <laughs> a bunch of cupcakes. I like that one. What about uh, Swamp Ass? 
Um, dating in Florida. <laughs> Get you some swamp ass. That's just called swass for short. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Swamp ass is like, you know, when you're playing the pickup game of basketball right before the job interview and you show up in your suit and you're like, sorry, I got a little bit of swamp ass. I couldn't resist. I was waiting and I saw people playing basketball and they needed another guy. So it could be that, or it's just late in the day and you're a little sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little humid outside. Got the swass going on. Okay. But I just not. think of dating in Florida when I think of swamp ass. What about manager? Just manager. Mm-hmm. I think Karen's have like ruined the term manager. Like I can't think of management or manager without thinking about Karen. It's like they're <laughs> like they're connected now forever. See, I disagree. I think manager has a different connotation than Karen. Karen is a complainer. Right, but Karen is like the, the arch nemesis of the manager. Like to I'm not saying it. they're the same person. Oh, okay. I'm saying like you. it's peanut butter and jelly. Gotcha. I'm, I'm just it's saying like it's antithesis. like it is. Okay. It's the antithesis. Okay. <laughs> and so sink your teeth into it. It's Karen and manager. Like they're just, they go together. Okay. Like peanut butter and jelly. Like a horse and carriage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you've been to a couple of these places. Uh, what about Renaissance Fair? Oh, I used to think um, virgins. Mm hmm. <laughs> But then I actually went to one as an adult. And then I was like, still a virgin. I, I asked God for forgiveness <laughs> for all the judgment that I cast upon the renaissancers or whatever they call themselves. Cause it was a blast, man. Was like, it? yeah, I had like smoked Turkey leg and watched some sword fighting. It sounds like the fair basically. Yeah. It's really fun. Is it? Yeah. So I used to, I was kind of judgy. I was like, what's this guy's like dressing up and fighting each other with swords and all that. And, but like, once you go experience it, there's, all kinds of like little variety acts where people like juggle like chainsaws and mm-hmm. stuff or whatever. Right. You know, and then there's like people that carve, you know, things. I think what we bought like a, um, one of those like Viking, like beer horns or whatever. Like you just with the dr- straw. <laughs> no, it's just like a long cow horn and you just drink beer out of oh, a cow okay. horn. I don't know what they're called. They also make sound too. Though. They're like very yeah. horny. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're an instrument too. Probably. Right. Like the like the Vikings football game, like Ooh. Exactly. So yeah. Okay. I apologize, Renaissance Fair. Now you're Renaissance ownership. Man. All right. Yeah. So <clears throat> what about hieroglyphics? What comes to mind when you hear hieroglyphics? For me, it's my wife's shopping list. Because <laughs> like, it it's not that I can't read her handwriting. It's the it's all out of order. I, I have to be very step by step, like you got to put me in the produce section first. <laughs> you got to then lead me over to the meat section and then the chips section and then so on and so forth. They're like carrots, slim fast, <laughs> motor oil, lettuce, <laughs> no, I'm walking Doritos, the store. eggs, like <laughs> placemats, actually no onions, what? like just put them in a row. Now that you talk about it, I think it's to get me exercise. Oh, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to lay out the longest laps around the store. You know, you're allowed to like, change the order of the items that she gives you right you could just ask her to text it to you and then you can like i could but i'm a linear thinker like i told you like i, I gotta go line by line and then yeah rob the bank right. then <laughs> then get away then clean off the die it's point shoot aim i don't know <laughs> yeah, right. okay. okay okay what about ancient what comes to mind um joe biden's pretty old <laughs> right <laughs> I don't want to get canceled over that, but let's all agree. He's pretty old. He is pretty old. I mean, so is Donald Trump too. Yeah. There's um, no young people available, I guess, for for presidency. No, there's not. There's a rule. You can't be under 35. Um, Did they change that? You can't be under 70? (laughs) Or is it still? Right now, I feel like it's, you can't be under 80. (laughs) Seriously, you're 75. I don't know. Right. Visiting angels. (laughs) America's. Something for home care. <laughs> what about comical? The Jaybird Show. Hmm. Wouldn't have never thunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for all your continued support. We hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode. And uh, you know what? Life gets really stressful. So we appreciate that you guys just take a little mental break and have a few laughs with us um, and have a good rest of your week. And I'm Jay. Hey, and I'm Jay. And it's the Jaybird Show. <laughs>